in terms of your swing. So ideally with your left hand, what we would expect to see, if I put a line up through the shaft of the club there, we'd expect your left wrist here to be on top of that blue line. It's just about, yeah, could do it coming a little bit more over, okay? If you can just about make out, there's a little line there that your thumb and forefinger are making here, a little line there between there, that should be more towards your right shoulder. So you can check that in the mirror. If you're looking at my thumb, this sort of here, I bring my palm from here, sort of put my thumb together and do that. This little line here, this is going towards my right shoulder, yeah? If I turn it this way, where yours is pointing, it's now going towards my chin. But that's holding your arm now this way, not that way. Everyone's arms hang kind of this way. Nobody does this, okay? When we hold a gold club, the first thing we see people do, put the hand this way, and then they run, wrap their fingers around. And straight away, you do that, you know, you're putting tension on your forearm, and you wrap your fingers over. So now your forearms are tense. You've got no grip pressure, so the club's going to move and wobble. So you squeeze your thumb. Tense forearm, tense bicep, shoulders are shrugged up. You're just locked to be, and you can't create any speed at all. So what we're looking for then with that looser grip pressure, that movement there on the other side, that's what we're trying to create. Okay, so as we go through now, nice strike, pretty much there. A little bit later in the sort of uptake, but for the most part, that movement there, if we just watch this in full speed, it looks a bit more fluid. There's less sort of like... Mm hit of the golf ball. It's more of a, a fluid motion. We're creating power going back by the hinge of the wrists. Unhinge, good strike. And releasing the arms and club through. When your left hand was round here, your left elbow has been pulling the club to try and stop it slicing. Because if you know a golf ball is curving off to the right this way, you'll do whatever you can to try and start the ball in kind of that direction off to the left. And that will involve generally a left arm, left shoulder, maybe back foot trying to shrug it kind of over there and, and top in the wall and then you exactly yeah. Yeah, you top it okay so that's what i think generally happened for me i think the grip may have just tweaked around there i've been slightly moved over time and so on that's not a problem the angle is good so you've worked on the angle with the wall you kind of tick that box okay in terms of the through swing now it's a little bit tense and tight you can loosen up that grip get the grip in the fingers more so you can just check out and put the club down your hand when you're watching golf on tv just stand there just wave the club in midair what we're looking for on a grip there in that position is your left hand a bit more over okay so you should be able to see these two knuckles of your left hand when you're looking down without going oh there they are <laughs> you can see them by moving your head it's just yeah. straight down there you can see now my two knuckles this one here and that one there and visit if i do that the second one disappears yeah yeah so getting that angle there so that middle knuckle i guess this is the knuckle officially i suppose so the middle knuckle and that one there you want to be able to see with your hands in that position now you can hinge the wrist and get that fluid motion and like I said, the goal is just one turn of the body, hinge of the wrists. From there now, you mirror that on the other side with a turn and a swish. At the bottom, there's a good swipe and swish to the golf club. The lower half kind of follows the top half's movement. You're not moving that leg independently. Just, well, okay, the hips have rotated around here because the top half's turning. Okay, I've got to kind of come through with it. I'm not going to kick the knee or move it this way. You just return and rotate that. Everything kind of follows suit. Okay, so you can simplify the movement. If you have a few errant shots on the range, Step back, take a breather, don't hit the next shot quicker and quicker and quicker, which I think often does happen because that's going to increase tension, grip's going to get tighter, the frustration levels are bursting out through your ears, and the swing then gets worse and worse and worse. And then you're going to ingrain more and more worse shots. Okay? So what I would suggest, again, cut the session down the range, backswing is good, keep checking it, maybe once or twice in the range, just do a few wall swings just to practice that. If needs be, send me some videos again. Send some videos through on the WhatsApp or emails with on the range and some shots. I can say, yeah, you're doing that great. Or hang on, you've gone back to old swing. I don't, want you sort of, I don't want your progression to sort of look like this, where you sort of start here and go, uh, uh, yeah. and end up after three or four lessons in the same spot. I want to see you sort of go this way and, and go that way until you reach to a point where, okay, now I'm now at this level. Good, we tick that box. Where's next? Let's try and find a new goal. We can create a new target, a new goal, breaking this score, getting your handicap, whatever it may be, reduce that score and the, and the system down. Okay, so... Setup wise, good. Get that grip better. Backswing wise for me, great. Just feel that swish and that unhinging of the club on the way through. Create more of a fluid motion rather than the club's really heavy. I've got to try and lunge it. Okay? Does that all make sense? Yes, very Excellent. Good stuff.